Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for 13. We are using a custom resolution of 2560 by 1440p native, 16 times the nicer traffic filtering, main mapping is on automatic, CRC hack levels on automatic. We are using no hacks at all. Accurate date fast and accurate blending recommended, basic. Texture filtering of display and FXAA shader are on. We are using bilinear PS2 and OpenGL. Now, I do want to note something real quick that this game, 13, on the PCSX2 revision that I'm using, has a broken upscaling problem on hardware mode. OpenGL has more raw pixels than Direct 3D 11, but they both have inaccurate scaling for both internal and custom resolutions. You have to super sample this game to make 1440p more sharper than it actually is that I'm rendering at right now. But for video purposes, we're gonna just continue on. Now, let's go to the setting real quick. Also, this game costs around 1.1 gigabytes of video RAM at 1440p as well. We are using uh, MTVU. If you have more than three cores, I have eight cores. You can turn this on. This game does target 30 frames per second, so it's not recommended, but it's also recommended. Just turn it on for the better performance. The game doesn't seem too demanding, but 30 frames per second shouldn't be too difficult to run, but turn it on just in case. Now, this game targets 640 by, six, uh, 640 by 448, not 447, but we'll just go off 447. Um, let's have a look at this. So, as I mentioned, this is 13. We're in a little room right now with all these people. So, this is native PS2. Everything looks super blurry. A lot of aliasing. And everything's hard to see. Like that poster right over there. That says security. Order. So, now I'm at native 1440p. Now, I did mention that this game has a broken up scaling. It's not far off 1440p native, but it's a little bit softer. It looks like more of a 1200p-ish resolution, but we'll just go off this anyway. But uh, you can see that this looks a lot clearer than native PS2. So here's native PS2. Here's native 1440p, native PS2 once again, and 1440p. You can see there's a bit of a difference. And you got got control room right there. If I go back to native PS2, you can't see it at all. If you go back to native 1440p, it's a lot more clearer. Also, this is a cell shaded game. You would think that a cell shaded game may break break the upscaling, but surprisingly not. You can super sample this game from 5K, 6K down to 1440p. I played this at 5K, so 2880, 2880p, and it looked really nice and clean. So it's not really a cell shaded problem as far as I'm aware. But it still looks really nice and clear, I'm not going to lie. It looks good. Uh, you have to get pretty close to make their faces look more clearer, but at native PS2, uh, yeah, it's a lot harder to see, not going to lie. So if we look at the hogs, as you see, you got my ammo capacity. There's a bit of a broken sprite along there. Um, and there's also a bit of a broken sprite down there as well. You can see it kind of breaks up in, uh, in the foreground, um, the background, sorry. And the HUDs, yeah, they're not too bad. If you look at the text right here, you can see that it looks a bit blurry. And the, you got the button HUDs right here that are, you know, a bit blurry as well, a bit blocky as well. Um, that triangle looks more stretched than the X. I just noticed that. But uh, maybe it's not. Anyway, so this is 13. Oh, I, I did beat this game. And because this is the, like one of the last stages. So, uh... Here we go, right here. This is another big section of the game. You can see everything looks, you know, okay, I guess. But if we go back to native PS2, obviously everything looks a lot more blurrier. If you go back to native 1440p, uh, it looks a bit clearer. Also, the the picture right there, that always stays at that sort of uh, blocky resolution because that's what the picture was uh, rendered at, at like a low resolution at the time when they made this game. But yes, this game is not too difficult to run as far as I'm aware. But uh, that's pretty much it, to be honest. Now, I am on OpenGL, and thankfully I chose OpenGL for this video. 
because um, it's really hard to test out the 16 times anisotropic filtering. I will admit that it does work on Direct 3D11, but not OpenGL. So it's really hard to te test the anisotropic filtering with a ground texture looking like this. It's just a flat panel, so it's really hard to tell if it's working or not, um, even on Direct 3D11. But take my word for it and play other levels, and you'll see the difference. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you for watching.